you're in the mood for a low-key stroll, don't go to La Rambla, the must-skip on your must-see list. Sagrada Familia is surreal and under construction since 1886. If nothing else, a stunning monument to Spanish procrastination. Seafood tapas at La Bocaria are mouth-watering. Don't settle for one. Afternoon sangria at Cafe Textile. Sweet and salty. If you're into that kind of thing. This is Julia. I'm probably in London, Berlin, Paris, or somewhere in between. Catch me if you can. It's me. So where have you run off to now? Julia versus the world. The never-ending saga. You'll never find happiness, you know. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Enjoy Barcelona, is it? Maybe one day you'll be the one leaving the message. Oh, sorry. Uh, triste. You take it. You were here first. It's... Are you really gonna make me look like a jerk in front of all these people? Chubes or Baja Romeo? A moment. Where are you going? Uh, Monjus. Monjus. What? Uh... Oh. Uh, Monjus. I'm going to Poplar Sec. It's close. Come on. Little help from a tall, dark Catalan. It'll be the cherry on the cake of your visit. You know, in America, we don't share cabs with strangers. Yeah, but in America, people shoot people. <laughs> so, where are you coming from? From the city? I've been in the States in a while. I was actually in London. I was in London for a little bit. But you're American? Yep. And it's, it's Munjuic. Where are you going? Is my Spanish really that terrible? I was hoping to blend in. No, 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 not at all. You blend in. Like a tourist. And you take your visiting really seriously. <laughs> I write travel guides for tourists. Oh, like Lonely Planet. Well, then you must know Barcelona pretty well. Uh, first time, actually. I don't like visiting the same city twice. Life's too short. So you're one of those. And where is home for the professional travel? It's Julia. And that's a very complicated question. Well, then give me a very complicated answer. Say, over dinner? And he can call me Pao. A classic kettle on dinner, oven baked, served piping hot, with the cherry on top. I don't usually allow shoes in bed, but I can make an exception. Sorry. I have like 20 gaudy buildings to see before noon. You make it sound like a chore. You know, th that's no way to experience Barcelona. You have to let it get under your skin. I think it got under my skin. Go with it. So is this another tourist trap to cross off your list? I thought men love women who take the advantage to leave. 
that your experience? In my experience, if I stick around too long, I get stuck there feeling stupid for thinking there was something more. What about the Londoner? Was he something more? You were texting him there. London. Strange haircut. Good dancer. <laughs> Amazing good breakfast. Over sadly. Have you seen my shoe? Don't ask. So, uh, breakfast will sweeten the deal? Do you know what's great about Gaudi? After decades of war and natural disasters, and those buildings are still there. Unbelievable, right? Oh, but you better hurry, you never know. One thing out. I can't compete with an English breakfast. <laughs> I can boil one good damn egg. It's all about the cracking. You have to take your time to get to the middle. And if you rush, you'll ruin it. What do you mean, the inevitable? I mean, everything's gonna end eventually. But doesn't that... makes you want to appreciate life even more? I mean... When I was 13, my father found out he had cancer. But he didn't run to the mountains. I mean, he stayed with us, and somehow he found a way to make each day better than the last one, until... That must have been hard not knowing. Well, it certainly put things into perspective. I mean, but what if you had cancer? Knock on wood. I mean, wouldn't you want to see as much of the world as possible before it's too late? No. I'd like to spend it being with people that I love as much as I can. Places might get boring, but they don't hurt you. Who is this man that broke your heart? Listen, <laughs> Dr. Phil, I really like your breakfast. Oh, thank you. I would give it five stars on TripAdvisor. When the wind blows, the ship set sail. And when does it sail, Captain? December 15th. Berlin. Okay. I have a proposal. Though for you, it will be more of a challenge. You live each day of your remaining three months in Barcelona to the fullest. Oh yeah? Yeah. And how do you propose I do that? Easy. You spend them with me. <laughs> and what makes you think we would last past this afternoon? That's why it's a challenge. This isn't a joke. No. Three months is a really long time. There's feelings involved. No, I mean, yes. Listen, 
If you commit to non-commitment, then there's no strings attached. And if there's no attachment, there's no feelings. And if there's no feeling, there's no hurt. And no women, no cry. Mm -hmm. This is a trick to steal my passport and empty my bank account. No, because no, because then I would have to go fishing all over again, and and I don't want to. I'm Spanish. I'm lazy. And plus, I hate fishing. It's so romantic. I didn't do sloppy goodbyes. And I promise not to cry. Give yourself a day to get lost in the Gothic Quarter. You can leave your map at the hotel. I was not born in Barcelona. I was born in a criminal city called Terrassa, full of thieves. <laughs> Big streets, big breakfast. Yeah, here we are more intense. It's all tiny little bits of everything. Savor it. You may never find it again. You don't dance. No. Come on, let's try it. You're the only one that comes here. As far as I'm concerned, yes. <laughs> the streets are romantic and secluded. Perfect place to spend a day. You may end up remembering forever. I could eat this cake forever. Eventually you'd get sick of it. No, I wouldn't. Yes, you would. You only like it because there's a little bit of it. <laughs> what was your longest relationship? I don't know. I don't count. Were you looking at me? No. It's tan bonito, Julia. Tan dulce. It's preciosa. Agrada mirarte.
What's wrong? This closeness. There's so much going through me. I just, I feel like crying. How many times have you said I love you to somebody? Every single time I see my grandma. And she says, I love you back to me through, through her fake teeth. <laughs> you know, I love you. And, and, and I'm, I'm glad that, he, that she can still talk. <laughs> yeah. Are we really doing this deadline thing? Yeah. Uh, personally, I'm a firm believer in commitment through mortgages or kids. Not even kids. Why not? I haven't seen my dad since the 90s. It's okay. It's fine. He's gone. No, thank God. He asked me if I loved him. And if I did, I'd want him to be happy. I said yes. And so he left. It's not your fault. You all right? Hey. Hi. Yes, I miss Catherine. If you're listening to these messages, I'm so lazy and my phone probably died because I didn't charge it. But that's life. Ciao. So this is it? Yeah. It's Judgment Day. Three months, two days, and 16 hours. You know, life is short. Yeah, you tell me about it. I have to go and get you to the airport and then go back before the fisherman leaves port. I hate airport goodbyes.
Hi. Yes, I'm his cafe. You're listening to this message as I'm super lazy and... I, I, uh, I was wondering if you wanted to grab some cake. <laughs> I know this really great place. Life is too short not 